Hi, my name is Rebecca Rollins. You can call me Becky. Um, some of you may know me from teaching your child's history class. Um, so welcome to Music Mayhem. Um, but those that do not know me, I'm pretty loud and silly and love for the kids to just have a good time. Um, I truly believe that you're only young ones. So let's just let those babies have fun. As your child's elementary school tutor, I will teach and care for your child as if they were my own. That being said, some days it may get crazy up in here. This class is designed for first through fifth grade. There will be constant moving and noise, hopefully some sweet melodies, but let's be real, in the beginning, it'll sound like noise. Participation is a must. So if you have a fifth grader that may not be into the silly antics um, and they're already too cool for school, uh, you might wanna look into the middle school program, um, Moody Music, um, and that's uh, fifth grade to eighth. So fifth graders get to choose which way they wanna go. Um, I will present this class in a fun way where a make-believe character named B-flat Bandit is constantly trying to steal all the fundamentals of music so the kids can't listen to their favorite songs anymore. So the kids and their super detective friend Scaly the Sleuth must help find clues to get the fundamentals back. Sometimes they will need to interview the musical families and in doing so will learn what makes them group together and how to properly identify them. Other times they may have to memorize B flat bandits, um, what he steals so that um, they can put it back. So through all of the chase after B flat bandit, your child will learn about pitch, dynamics, tempo, rhythm, and so much more as they play on their personal music stations. They will learn to read notes and play a song or two on the flutophone or the recorder. I'm not quite sure um, which one we're gonna use, um, but I will get back to you on that. And then hopefully we will even have a concert. Um, now you may have noticed that we don't have a main curriculum book like most um, classes do, um, but don't let that frighten you or concern you. Um, I want your child to experience so many different styles of teaching music and hopefully one of them will specifically appeal to them. So I've taken multiple ideas and um, sections from different, you know, articles and books and um, interactive games and things like that. Um, and I formed an interactive notebook for your child. Don't worry, I followed all the copyright laws and proper procedures. Um, some of the excerpts or ideas that we will use are from, and um, let me just show you. So they will get um, a binder that will be something like this, except it'll say our title. Um, so Music Theory by Angela Ashworth is um, one of the books that um, I took some excerpts from. I will use um, a Becca's flashcards that have um, nice big reading and they'll be able to tell me what notes and you know things like this um teaching music to children and um it has a nice section where it specifically tells us all about the um the woodwind families and the different instruments and things like that um it also tells some wonderful um websites that we're going to do where um the children will actually um have a 360 of the orchestra, like they will be in the orchestra seat. So that'll be cool. Um, developing music skills um, by Linda Ann Hopley. Um, classroom music games. And then, you know, just um, some odds and ends of some cool things I found. Um, so there is a program called Kid Sticks. And um, that's what your child's mini station uh, will be based after. Um, so basically it'll be a homemade uh, music station. It will have, um, you know, a can that's made into a drum and maybe some maracas and a tambourine and some real drumsticks and things like this. And that's what we'll work on when we're working on the um, melodies and the tempos and the beats, uh, things like that. Um, so anyhow, back to the curriculum. I just couldn't see making you buy multiple books just for me to use one or two. Um, so I think this is gonna be the best benefit for all of us. Um, along with your child getting an interactive notebook, they will also receive a flutophone or a recorder. It's already um, 
included in the fees that you have. Um, they'll receive a music PlayStation. Um, <clears throat> that's the one that I was telling you about. Um, I will make a playbook specific to our class and they will receive a cardboard music stand um, so that they can hold their music when they're um, learning how to do the flutophone or the recorder. Um, so that's why this class's fees, uh, material fees are a little higher and you will see a copy fee. That's where all that comes from. Um, now you are more than welcome to purchase any of the books, but understand that all of the material that I'm using is in your child's notebook for you to access at any time. That's something that's gonna go back and forth with them. Um, but if you do purchase the books, um, your child still will need to use the interactive notebook because it's gonna have the specific pages and it's gonna be set up in the order that we're gonna go in. Um, so I will still need them to use the interactive notebook. Um, and I know there's a lot of anticipation about whether um, Extend Homeschool will be virtual or in person. Um, but as far as this class goes, we will run exactly the same um, and the fees will stay the same. Nothing will change for us. Um, there's nothing really for you to buy or get uh, ready for this class. I've included everything so that it was less work on you. Um, and if we actually do go into the classroom in the fall, um, I will present your child with everything they need in a nice drawstring uh, backpack the very first day of school. Now they'll be expected to bring everything that starts in that backpack with them to every class still in the backpack. So it's just a drawstring bag. They can carry it individually. They can put it in their book bag. Um, it's just, um, we only have a 50, 55 minute class. By the time everybody gets settled in, I have even less time than that. And I'm only gonna see them once a week. So I really need to, um, you know, use the time appropriately instead of looking for pencils or our books and things like that. Um, if we remain virtual, Extend will set up a supply pickup day and you will just drive by my table and I will place your child's drawstring bag in the back seat or in your trunk. Um, let's see. Now there's very few things that I'm very strict about. Um, I'm not really into grades and tests. Um, I will give them because that's what you're used to. I just don't feel that that tells um, how intelligent a child is or how hard they um, have worked. Like I was a straight A gifted and talented uh, student and it just came naturally. Um, but my daughter, she has ADD and she will sit for hours and hours and work so hard and only get B's and C's. So um, I'm not a real stickler when it comes to grades. Um, I am a stickler about the backpack go figure, right? All right. So um, the backpack's going to help you a lot, especially if we're in the time of COVID um, and we do actually go into classrooms. I don't want people touching things that are going to go into your child's hands um, because, you know, they're not going to sanitize every single thing before they pick up their drumstick and before they pick it up. This way it's in a bag, they pull it out. It's only theirs. They put it back in and you can clean it when they get home. All right. So... I think that we've covered everything. If you have any other questions or if you thought of something that I haven't covered, then you're more than welcome to um, call me, text me. Um, you can send me an email, uh, group me, all of those things. Um, my phone's always on me, so I will respond pretty quickly. Uh, my number is 443-875-6454 and my, um, my Extend Homeschool email is R Rollins for Rebecca, Rebecca Rollins. So it's R Rollins, R O L L I N S, at extendhomeschool.com. All right. Hopefully, I'll get to see you in the fall. Thanks. Bye.